bench. Jumping back to knee. Jump out completely, son. Jumping back to chi. Go. Rook. One. Jump forward, switch, push out. One. And back again. Two. One, five. Right, now we're going to change legs. So right leg in front. Jump forward one, switch, and push to the side. Quickly jump one, boom. And now you're going to switch legs and switch up. Two, boom. Okay. Side, boom. So this allows you to go forward with a lot more momentum on the Kizamazuki. And the switching of your leg helps your defense by changing direction. Number four. And last one on this side, number five. Boom. Okay, change legs, right leg in front. Let's do one slow way. Please let me land on your front foot. Boom. Switch legs, push up. Three. Four. Boom. Right, so you're going to make your circle again. About that size depending on the size of your feet. So jump in front for bitch. Jumping back to knee. Jump out completely, son. Jumping back to chi. Go. Rook. Okay, got that. That was the first warm-up draw we did. So you do that once. Then you do the following. Jump in one, two, completely out three, then you jump in, back foot in, and instead of going back, you launch forward, okay, got me switch legs. Okay, one, back leg in, completely out, back leg circle, front leg in, completely out, so that's the first part, A, B is, front foot in, back leg in, completely out, back leg in, get on me if you switch legs. Everybody got one A done. Now one B. Okay, next one. One A. So from this position, you're going to stand on your knees like I am now. And you're going to try and push your hips forward as much as you can. We call it the penguin. So you're going to open your hands and put it to your sides like a penguin and in that line you're going to put this arm down and you're going to lift this leg up. Right. Now what it looks like from the side is not like this. It has to be hips forward there and see my knee? My knee is in line with my quad, in line with my tummy, in line with my chest and in line with my face. So if this starts happening, incorrect technique. So try and pull it back as much as you can. Now from that position, you can stay there. Right, you're going to pull it back. Imagine there's a pole through your knee, you can't move your knee. And you're going to kick my washi one and back. Eight, nine, and from on the other side, whichever is your other side, from this position, let me show you. Not like that. You want to get to that. And one. Back. Point toes. Two. And back. Try and get that knee back. Three. Four. Straight line. And just want to point out my foot, my supporting foot on the mat. If you turn your foot this way, you're going to stick your bum out. You can taste it. So the moment I turn my foot this way, my bum's coming out. If I open this foot, I can push my hips forward. So we're just going to do 10 each side. 1, 2, point, 3, flex. Make sure your foot is turned open. 3, your foot on the floor. 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The next thing is... And it, it's, a, it's quite difficult to do this if you're not a 
good kick up, but you want to get into the same position now, but not holding on to the chair anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, two, and back. If you can stand as close as you need to to the chair and very, very slowly in the beginning you're going to go H. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Four. You've got to come up gradually to the yakuzuki. So it's going to look like this. And then you're going to come back again. Right? Two. And you're going to come back again. And if somebody can hold a punching bag for you, it's even better. Sun! Stay as low as you can. She! And all you do is you squat down as low as you can. And arms up. Ready? Push up, other leg, 
Bye.